Welcome to another California Guy video with your boy California Guy. What's up, everybody, and welcome to this all new video. This video is a response to my last, I hate to say this, but this is a response to a California Guy video, pro black nation, and my last video, Black People Can't Be Racist. Now, I looked at my comment section today and I saw anger in that section. And again, the other day when I did my uh, video on um, Pro Black Nation and I mentioned Empire. Now, I'm trying to figure out black people in this sector and the trolls and even YouTubers and commentators. Every time a pro black does a video like myself, we're always being called a hypocrite. Shit is funny to me. Well, always been called a hypocrite, fake pro black, and you try to take points to discredit. Now, this is not coming from white people. Now, this is not coming from Caucasian people. These are coming from African American individuals. They're sitting up here and they're critiquing every video that we pro blacks uh, do, and it makes no sense. You know, I'm looking at W H. I make comment to my. Uh, comment section he's like oh you know I'm talking about his people you know because I point out historical facts that have taken place in the black community now I'm not going to in fact you know what I'm going to say this after this video I will not be addressing any more black people on white supremacy being fake or real and I'm going to tell you why and I'm going to sum this up black white supremacy is real it's real and if it wasn't real you wouldn't have had slaves these are facts. They kidnapped black people from Africa, plundered their land, and bought us here under oppression. These are facts. Black people could not gain rights in Reconstruction because white people were scared of black businesses growing and black people having an economic foothold in the United States. These are facts. That's why they created Jim Crow. That is a form of white supremacy. Black people had jobs then. They Black people worked at that time, but they still was following a systematic rule of white supremacy that we're still trying to fight against in modern day 2016. You know, a lot of you black individuals are quick to trash pro blacks. A lot of you guys do videos saying, well, pro blacks and coons are wrong. We're in the middle. There's no such thing as a middle. It's either or. Either you're for your people or you're not for your people. That's it. Being pro black means the upliftment of African American people from oppression and black pride. That's what being pro-black is all about. Um, and, and and preaching about the past. I'm a man with a degree in history, U.S. history. So I know a lot about this country and I know a lot about black history. So in the United States, we have been under a form of oppression. It may not be as huge as it may have been in the 50s or the 40s, but you're still under a form of oppression and you're uh, under a form of assimilation. Uh, black people, we don't compete in anything as far as making money in this country. Black dollars is not strong. So when we talk about it, when we talk about this, the uh, other black people in Coons get upset. They get upset when we talk about we don't like empire. And I said they like empire because of black images don't want black images to be negative but a lot of Negroes got upset because I pointed out that you know we shouldn't be uh, fucking with a show like Empire so when I hear a lot of these individuals go after people like myself people like New Possibilities people like Voltron Black people like the one in LA people like uh, Cynthia G uh, people like uh you know, Tariq Nasheed, even up to Al Sharpton, even up to Cornel West. It's like you black people wants to find something. And a lot, and a lot of you got uh, channels dedicated to discrediting pro blacks, I've noticed too. Now look at some of your content. It's always in response to a pro black person. There's always 50 million videos done, you know, and, and you guys dedicate your life to, you know, tearing down black people who's offering empowerment to the United States and across the globe. People attack even Afro Synergy. Now, I don't agree with Afro Synergy with Trump, but I still respect Afro Synergy as far as his Pan-Africanism is concerned. And even he gets attacked 
by other Negroes, you know, so people that's pro African, pro African American, pro black men, you know, they pretty much get trash. I don't attack other black people. Yeah, as you guys know, I don't attack other black people. I never got into any black beefs. I've never got into any uh, black on black anything. I've always tried to uh, I've offered positive black messages. I always offer positive uh, black YouTube videos, actually. So I try not to engage, even if <laughs> I try not to engage in black beefs, because I try to give an example to black boys and black girls that, you know, who may get on our, our YouTube channels that, you know, fighting is not cool amongst your own people. It's bad enough we got black on black violence in our own neighborhoods, which I've preached against also. And a lot of you coons and some blacks have said that we don't talk about black on black violence, which I've talked about it. Uh, and I've mentored black gang members in the past and tried to encourage them, encourage them to knock it off. So when I listen to a lot of you, 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 you Negroes and uh, coons, and I say Negroes because I hear a lot of you guys call people Negroes, so I'm going to use the term too. When I listen to a lot of you Negroes, you sedity Negroes and sit on your, your asses and you try to critique everything a pro black does. And then I hear you guys say ridiculous statements like, oh, you use uh, dead black men to do videos, which is major news, by the way. Like, I, I've heard black YouTubers actually say this in, in Trolls. They say, well, you, uh, uh, they said one black YouTuber was using, a poor black YouTuber was using deceased black men to get views, which I thought made no sense because a lot of this is mainstream news. You know, Walter Scott or Trayvon Martin, that's major news. So to accuse one black man of doing, it, it made no sense. Or it's said to pro-blacks that they got to clean up their neighborhoods or they're fake because they don't go after white people. Just dumb, dumb stuff like that. And, and, and nobody ever tells the coons that. That's the funny part about it. You have a lot of coons that's on YouTube and on Facebook and different forms of social media. And nobody ever says that these coons are fake black people because they support white supremacy. Now, these people are coming out overtly supporting uh, white supremacy and racism, but I have yet to see some of these black Negroes make channels and make uh, commentary on these particular coons. Uh, I've heard black people say stuff like, and I think my last video was about, uh, actually I was responding to, I think, Brian Vlogs, because he even said that, you know, racism, uh, black people could be racist. So I even responded to that video, and a lot of black people co-signed that video. So you got different black people co-signing different things, but then when it's a black man like myself who talks about black history, which I did, nobody wanted to look at that video, but I talk about black upliftment, which I did, nobody looked at that. I talked about education, I did, in a lot of videos, nobody looked at that. Only time people may look at my videos is when... I'm talking about either another YouTuber, black YouTuber, or maybe a celebrity. So I've talked about empowerment multiple times. I've talked about voting. Actually, and this is the funny part about it. Recently, we were debating the voting issue amongst African-American people. I saw, except a shout out to Madhead, because Madhead, you know, even he talked about policy and voting. So shout out to Madhead, because a lot of black people didn't even get into that conversation. A lot of black YouTubers, they stayed out of that. You notice that a lot of black YouTubers did not interfere with the voting, uh, uh, the voting um, process. Only LA talked about it. Tariq Nasheed, New Possibilities, and a host of others. But a lot of black YouTubers stayed out of even that. But when it comes to those deceased black you uh, deceased black men that get shot by police, then everybody got fifty million videos. If it's a black beef, then that's where you get most of your activities going on at and so or if I talk about white supremacy in my videos then I get attacked by various African American people saying that that's fraud or if I criticize another black YouTuber maybe I get some hits like if I'm you know so I, I listen to a lot of these things and these criticisms against pro blacks a lot of black YouTubers intellectuals take shots at pro blacks like for example they'll say stuff like conspiracy guy said he said in one of his videos that you know we're chasing phantoms he tried to say that the white side, you know, was this way and 
the black side. And I think he said it was Jewish people. I think I have to go back up to the video. So he basically said that, you know, we were chasing a phantom, which is not true. Because there's no phantom. We're chasing oppression is what pro-blacks and black people in general is, is chasing. We're chasing, uh, uh, we want equality. So when it comes down to one equality, we want our heritage respected. But yet we get all these host of criticisms against uh, pro being pro black, you know, and and you know, and that's like you guys use that term as if it's negative. I, if if pro black is bad to you, a lot of you guys, that's fine. I don't mind being called pro black because I do love black people. I do love the black heritage. I do talk about black history. I do talk about black music besides rap music. Um, I embrace blackness all on my channel. I love black women, the queens. So yes, I am pro black on that. If you guys want to put it there. So you guys could spend time of uh, trying to discredit what I'm saying. You could discredit. And then the other black uh, dudes and females also that's pro-black. If I was you guys, I would not even fall into that baited trap where people are saying you're fake, pro-black, or you're fist bumping. I wouldn't fall into that because they're trying to make a narrative that doesn't exist. They're trying to give you this living. And if you, anybody that watched Living Color or familiar with the Waynes from back in the 80s, I know you old schoolers out there remember. And a lot of the Waynes parodies, they always had the fake militant character that's messing with a white woman. A lot of these blacks are trying to associate all the pro blacks as these fake militant hotep individuals. And it's, it's, it's absolutely fiction. A lot of us offer commentary on... News. We offer commentary like white YouTubers do, like Asian YouTubers do, like Jewish YouTubers do on the commentary that's going on, like Afro Synergy does. He offers commentary and his opinions on his uh, channel. You know, some of it I don't agree with. And others I do. I agree with a majority of his stuff, but I don't agree with him with Donald Trump. But that's his opinion. But I agree with him on talking about Africa and the news and we building our own nation up. So, but... Like and share this video, people. Peace out.